Hi everyone, today we're going over all the different survey question types inside TeamFlect surveys module and the best use case scenarios for them. We'll be creating a survey together and going over each and every one of those question types and the best ways to use them. So without further ado, let's dive right into TeamFlect's admin center and create a survey together. So here we are inside the TeamFlect admin center and we're going into modules and then selecting surveys. Once we're here, we're selecting create and then create a new template. Now, we will be following the five steps right here to create a new survey. But remember, we're focusing on the different question types this time. We're giving our survey a title, and if we have one, we can add a description, and then we can move right on to visibility. So let's make the responses visible, and let's enable notifications to all parties. Now, this is where the money is. We're going into survey questions, and we'll be selecting add a question set. Now we can select from an existing catalog or we can create a new question set. Now, we will give this question set a name. And once we're done, we can add a description. Now this is where we actually start selecting questions. And if you see right here, we have all the different question types available inside TeamFlight. We have freeform questions, multiple choice questions, rating, ranking, Likert scale, and NPS questions. Let's actually start with freeform questions. Freeform questions are the best if you're looking to gather detailed feedback on a particular subject. And they're also the best if you don't have a lot of respondents because they're not very easy to analyze. You'll actually have to sit down and read through all those individual responses and that takes time. So if you want a detailed response filled with opinions and feedback, and you don't have a lot of respondents, that means Freeform is the way to go for you. Now, let's actually add the Freeform question right here. And if we want to make this particular question mandatory in order to be able to finish the survey, then we can select required right here. Now, let's move on to our second question type, which will be multiple choice. Now, multiple choice questions are great if you're looking to gather specific structured results and concrete answers that you can analyze and compare with these. They also work well if you have a large group of respondents, because then you can actually get percentages on which options everyone chose. Now, let's create a question together. And our question is, which departmental activity do you feel contributes the most to a positive work environment? And we need specific answers for this one. So let's give them options. Team building exercises, regular team meetings, recognition and awards program, and skill development workshops. Now, if you want to, we can actually allow multiple answers and ask for additional comments on those responses. And once again, we can toggle whether or not this question will be required. Once this is done, we can actually move on to our next question type, which will be a rating question. Now, rating questions are when you're asking your respondents to rate a particular topic or service or someone's performance on a predefined scale, such as from one to 10 or one to five or one star to five stars. And they're usually the best if you're evaluating a particular service or someone's performance. More often than not, they're used to measure someone's satisfaction levels. In fact, our net promoter score survey questions follow a very similar structure, but we'll get to them soon. And although they're not as specific as multiple choice questions, they're still relatively easy to analyze. So let's put our first rating question in here now. How satisfied are you with our current communication channels on a scale of one to five? And then we can adjust what they're rating this out of on a scale of one to five, one to 10, one to six, what have you. And then the rating types, stars, emojis, are numbers. So they will be rating this item on a scale of one to five stars. Now let's move on to our next question type, which is ranking questions. Ranking questions are ideal for understanding preferences or priorities among a set of different options. They can be particularly useful in decision-making processes where employee input is valuable. For instance, if you want to gauge interest in a potential employee benefits program, a ranking question can help prioritize benefits based on employee preferences. Similarly, if you're planning a project, a ranking question can help you determine which initiatives are more important to your project team. So let's create a question together. And our question will be, please rank the following factors in, in order of importance for your job satisfaction. And these are the options we're putting in. Work-life balance, opportunities for career growth, company culture, and compensation and benefits. 
So the respondents will be ranking them according to their preferences. Now let's move on to another question. And our next question type will be Likert scale. Likert scale questions are like beautiful hybrids between freeform and multiple choice questions because they're excellent for measuring attitudes, perceptions, and opinions, but they're also very easy to fill out. In employee engagement surveys, Likert scale questions can gauge the level of agreement or satisfaction with various aspects of the job or the organization. And they usually follow a very simple structure. You present your respondents with a particular statement and then ask for their level of agreement. In fact, let's create one together. We're putting in our question, and this is more like instructions at this point. And then we're putting in our statement. So our statement is, the company provides adequate resources and support for professional development. And they have the option to select strongly disagree, disagree, undecided, agree, or strongly agree. And if you want to, we can customize these levels of agreement as well. And that's how you create a Likert scale question. So let's move on. Our last question type is NPS, Net Promoter Score. If you don't know what a Net Promoter Score is or how you can calculate it, we filmed an entirely separate video on this very subject and you should watch it. We will be linking to it. But in short, it is a rating question that goes from 1 to 10 and it always follows a similar structure. How likely are you to recommend this company, this product, or this service to a friend? Anyone who gives a score between 1 to 6 are your detractors, 7 to 8 are your passives, and 9 to 10 are your promoters. In the context of an employee net promoter score survey, we're asking our employees how likely are you to recommend this company as a place of work to a friend? NPS questions are hands down the best way to measure employee satisfaction levels. Because in an era where everyone is trying to have their employees be their best brand ambassadors, this is how you know whether they're promoters or not. So let's create our final question, an NPS question together. We're putting in our question right here. I would like there you to recommend this company as a place of work to a friend. And in the description section, we're putting in some instructions. And once we're done, all we have to do is click right here and select create. Once we click create, we have our question set. Our question set is locked and loaded. So let's move on to the next step, which is summary and test. And once we click start, we can select a scenario for this one. Now we're not gonna pick an automation scenario. We're just gonna select start a one-time survey cycle. We're giving this survey cycle a name. We're selecting respondents. And for the sake of this one, we're just sending it to one person. Uh, once we're done, we're, collect we're clicking start and our survey is done and it has been sent out. Now let's go into the employees account and see what it looks like. This is Benny's account. This is the person we sent the survey out to. And inside Team Flick surveys module, we see the survey that we, that we just sent out. Let's click complete survey. And these are all the questions we created together. Now let's start with the freeform question and put our answer in like so and move on with the multiple choice question. So which departmental activity do you feel contributes the most to a positive work environment? And for this one, we're selecting recognition and rewards. Moving on to our rating question. Uh, we are giving the current communication channels four stars. And then moving on to our ranking question. And it is only a matter of dragging and dropping on the part of the respondent. And yes, we're happy with this one. And moving on to the Likert scale. So with this statement, do we strongly disagree, disagree, or are we undecided? Let's say we agree with this one. And last but not least, we have our NPS question. Uh, since we're happy with this workplace, we will give it a solid nine. Uh, once I've answered all the questions, all I have to do is click Submit. Final check, we'll click Submit, and we're done. And those are all the different question types inside TeamFlect Surveys module and how you can make the most of them. We hope you found it helpful. TeamFlect. Build teams that deliver.